Let's look at this chemistry problem about chemical and physical changes. But before I start this problem, I suggest you pause the video, do the question yourselves, and then come back and see if you got it right or not. That is a true way of knowing if you fully understand the topic. So before we start the topic, there is some prior knowledge that you should know about chemical and physical changes, right? So maybe we can start by defining it. A chemical change is when a chemical aspect of a molecule, compound, anything changes, right? So in the picture, what we're looking for is the combination of atoms changing. Because if we, if the atoms um, in the molecule or compound are changing, if they're like different colored ones in the after picture, then we know that the chemical aspect of that compound has been changed, right? So that's what we're looking for for chemical change. But then in terms of physical change, well, physical change is, it's like, changing a physical aspect of a molecule so applying pressure um if we have like a, a solid for example um applying pressure or increasing the temperature are physical aspects so you're changing the physical aspects of that uh, molecule or compound so that that's what we're looking for but in terms of the picture we're looking for the same combination right it'd be the same combination of atoms because in physical changing nothing the atoms are not changing it's not changing chemically it's just a physical aspect that is changing so it would be the same combination of atoms but different spacing so if you like increase the pressure for example you're squishing the molecules together so they would be closer together for example so now that we understand that let's move on to the problem let's start with the easiest one which is this one this is the easiest one because right away we can see that the molecules stay the same but the after is just more spread out the molecules are more spread out right so uh, we can conclude that this one is a physical change for the second one it's also pretty simple and easy because we can see that there is um an element here it's just red um, atoms and then we can see which is black and white but in the after image we see that they're mixed so we can see the red is joined with the white atom and the black and the red are joined together so this is a chemical change because the atoms the combination of atoms have changed well the first one um, we can see that there is a molecule or compound that has black and grayish atoms and there is a red one on the top right a red atom in the after image what we can notice is that the molecules are more spread out and the orientation is changed so some are upside down some are the same facing the same way some are facing upwards so we can um, conclude that this is a physical change as well so hopefully that was helpful